Hey guys, welcome back. This is Brown from the BTN HD. And yes, this week we have an awesome unboxing, and it's all about the Think System SR530. Uh, and we need to think about what we're going to do on the next live stream on this 1U server. So uh, let's get to the unboxing. All right, so what comes inside the box? Uh, it looks like Lenovo provides us uh, the rail kit for the SR530. Super excited about this, because uh, that means I can rack it up in my LAN room. Uh, a lot of vendors out there, especially Dell, you have to purchase the rail kit separately. It's like 200, 300 bucks. Uh, so that's a good thing, right? I'm gonna put this to the side. Uh, it comes with the screws. You have your rack installation guide this guy came inside the small little long box for the rail kit inside the lenovo uh server box we have our kind of you know warning kind of booklets and we have a power cable so one power cable basically tells me one thing and that basically means what only one power supply and i really hate servers with only one power supply that really sucks so on the, it has a lot of ports and features. Uh, it lacks one thing already that I hate. It only has one power supply, which is right here in the back. We go over it. The power supply is right here. Uh, looks like the power supply is 750 watts. All right, so 750 watts. Slap that guy. Now on the front side of the SR530, we have one, two, three, four, and then we have this big guy right here. So it's two, four, six, eight, eight uh, hard drives, SATA or uh, solid state drives, All right? And it looks like Lenovo only gave me one hard drive, boo. And they gave me a 600 gig SAS, 12 gigs per second, or uh, well, it's a SAS 12 gigabit per second, 10K RPM hard drive. All right, 600 gigs. Hmm, I could probably do maybe Windows Server 2019 and go over like the basics, like installing AD, a little bit of Hyper-V within 2019. I don't know, that's, I'm leaning towards that a lot for our, uh, our live stream review on the SR530. I would definitely like to hear from you guys, what should I do on this machine? We covered so much. Uh, I might tackle server 2019 live server windows server 2019 so it looks like we have two usbs in the front one looks like it's a 2.0 and the other one looks like a 3.0 usb uh this guy has to be your power button your uh vga i believe this guy is your led indicator or your reset button i believe cool all right in the back side let's turn it around real slow Take a look on the back side. Okay, so in the back side, we have a bunch of PCIe slots that are not uh, used. Looks like we do have a RAID controller. I am going to open up the SR530 pretty soon. Uh, we do have three Ethernet uh, jacks, three RJ45s. Looks like one is for management and the other two are gigabit Ethernet. So that's cool. We got an additional VGA adapter. We got two more uh, 3.0 USB ports in the back. And again, uh, only one 750 watt power supply, which kind of sucks, which is okay. Awesome. All right, so we are gonna definitely open this guy up and see what's inside. All right, so, so far we went over some of the ports and features on the SR530. Uh, I love to open up the servers with you guys. So we got that nice little latch, push and slide. Move it. Woo. I'm gonna touch this guy. I don't got my uh, my electrical band, which is okay. All right. So what's inside the SR530? It looks like we have a full bleed board uh, that allows us to hook up all eight bays with hard drives, which is a huge plus. I remember one of the SR lineups that I did with you guys. It only had uh, half of it, and the other half was no controller. So this one has the controller that allows you to hook up all eight bays with a hard drive. Uh, it has one, two, three, four, 
fans, but if you look at it real close, it looks like three fans is for one processor and the other three is for the other processor. Uh, kind of strange that they gave me four because I only have one processor. Now, I believe the processor that I have right now that I'm testing for you guys is the Intel Xeon 6130 series. I'm not, I don't know yet. Uh, once we power it on, it's probably going to tell us what we have. Uh, for memory, it definitely got 16 gigs, one stick. Uh, it looks like it has 12 DIMMs, six DIMMs for each processor. So this, you know, duh, that's the reason why I got this memory because it's for this processor. But one, two, three, four, five, six for this processor. And then one, two, three, four, five, six for this processor. It kind of sucks that we don't have an additional processor, which is okay. This guy in the back right here is our RAID controller. I don't know what model, but I will follow up with you guys when we do the live stream review. And this guy right here is our M.2 uh, adapter. Cool. A riser 2. Nice. All right, cool, 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 cool. All right, so I'm going to put the top back on. And we are going to uh, hook up a VGA external monitor. Power it on. I'm going to see how it sounds. All right, so I have my uh, USB keyboard and my USB mouse hooked up in the back of the SR530. Also have a uh, VGA connection hooked up to the monitor, uh, 20 inch Dell monitor. We're gonna power it on and let's get started. So the power button is on the, so the power button is located right here on the front. Let's power it on. So once it boots up, we're gonna finally see the, the real specifications on the SR530. We already know it's it has a 600 gig solid state drive, uh, 16 gigs of memory, but I really wanna know what type of processor it has. And uh, pretty soon it's gonna tell us. All right, so 16 gigs, right? We got one processor, 12 cores enabled. Is an Intel Xeon Gold 6126 with a clock speed of 2.60 gigahertz. Woo, sweet. This would definitely be a nice virtualization server. But I'm, I don't know. I'm leaning towards Windows Server 2019 because that's going to be the new Windows operating system that Microsoft is going to be releasing pretty soon. So uh, I don't know. We're probably going to take advantage of it and install the operating system. It looks like the SR530 came with an operating system already installed. It looks like we had some issues with it and it's trying to prepare and to do an automatic repair you gotta love windows servers i'm telling you uh i don't know what you guys think i should do for the next live stream should i do a linux server or should i do a windows server 2019 uh again this guy looks like it's loading some files to do an automatic repair i want to see what happens Oh, so it does have a Windows operating system. It probably has Windows Server 2012, but we don't want that. I don't want Windows Server 2012 on this machine. Let's go to US. Uh, refresh. Reset your PC. Advance. Uh, fix problems. Keeps Windows from loading. I don't know. There's no problems with it. That's weird. I'm already having issues with it. Again, guys, what I'm definitely going to do on this machine is wipe it clean. I'm probably going to install some type of operating system, but I don't know what I'm going to do for the next live stream. Again, uh, hopefully you guys stay tuned for that. Don't forget about hitting that like button. And don't also do not forget to leave your comments right below because I really want to hear from you guys. What should I do on the next live stream with the SR530? I'm leaning towards Windows Server 2019 building like an Active Directory, messing around with Hyper-V and all other crazy stuff that Server 2019 has. Again, leave your comments right below and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.